Hey guys, it's time for a brew. That's still really hot. Uh, I literally just made it. Came sat down, got Twitch up because Manga Pod is on, and I'm drinking the tea. Uh, I kind of wonder, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments if you have this issue. I've had this issue since I was a kid. When I've made food or hot drinks or whatever, I literally do not have the capacity in my head to not have it before it cools, like before it cools down. Like I will always go for it. Like when I was a kid, I'd make pizza, you know, like a DiGiorno or whatever, and I would I would eat this, right? And it would just burn and scorch the roof of my mouth. And I could feel it happening and I'm just like Mm. Like trying to get the sauce off the roof of my mouth because it's literally burning, right? And you think I learned my lesson? Because I would literally, I just feel like this had this scorch, and it would be raw or like numb in a bit, like for the next the next day or so. And in the next day or so, or that next weekend or whatever, I would do it again. No thought process. Just I would just do it again. And so, like with tea, I had the same issue, except I don't really have so much as a problem with like the roof of my mouth as much as it just scorches my tongue. And I just keep doing it. As I am right now. It's getting better though, it is cooling down, so... Well, oh well. So anyways, yesterday, uh, I know I said I was going to try to make a vlog, didn't happen, I was tired. And here's why. Um, I kind of double dipped on the exercise. Uh, as you kind of mentioned in another video, I've been trying to do like kind of the healthy thing, um, having a little bit better foods, uh, which I'm not doing that great on. And I'm trying to get the exercise in. Uh, riding my bike, uh, there's a bike path here, and it and I ride like to like the next road and back. No big deal. Uh, it's it's great. It's great exercise and everything. But as you know, I had a volleyball game last night. And I thought, oh, I had enough time. I got off work, and then uh, I got home. I'm like, um, fine, whatever, I'm going to do it anyways. Get the bike, get my, get changed, get on the bike, go, uh, come back. Legs are heavy, you know, all tired now. And so I get back, change, I get a salad in me, and it's like, okay, I should, I should be okay. And I had like an hour or so, and I was like, all right, we should be good. I was good. I was not tired. My legs were fine. We were back to normal. It was almost like they were warmed up. I really didn't have any issues jumping and such during the game. Cool, right? Yeah. But I got done with the game and I was tired. <laughs> so tired. It was a bad idea. I should not have double dipped in the exercise. Very bad. Very bad indeed. But uh, we lost. Uh, oh well. You know, they're best of five. You know, we won one of them. And then... Pfft. Oh well. I'm there to have fun. Some other guys are getting pretty serious. Uh, which is kind of... It was kind of funny and ironic. Because for most of the time, I've always gotten told... Hey, you need to calm down a bit. It's not a big deal. Yeah, 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 whatever. Just play your game, whatever. I'm, I'm playing my position. You play yours, right? You just get all, you know, all butthurt about everything. And, you know, telling me, just get over it, man, get over it. Now I'm the one doing the, hey, man, it's all right. It's all right. We're going to, we got this. We got this. Obviously, we lost. We didn't, we didn't have anything. But, hey, it, it was, it was the encouragement, right? It was the encouragement. Yeah. But, yeah, so, so tired. And, oh, man. But hey, I did. I, but I took last week off um, from like salads and stuff. Uh, I've always had an issue with eating like lettuce and and salads and stuff. It just I know I'm eating leaves and it bugs my taste buds and my palate. It's just like, what are you eating? What are you putting in my? You know, what are you putting in there? Like it's just and my, and I, I have to just take a break. I have to like take a week off or so. 
And I thought, no, I need to get back on it. Salads are kind of good for you, whatever. So I did, and I'm glad I did. And I'm trying to find new ways of kind of sp sprucing up my salad. You know, just getting it to where it feels flavorful and it doesn't really remind... I don't notice... I don't notice that it's a salad as much. And yes, I do put cheese in it. I don't put a ton of cheese. I try, I'm try. i trying to down that. A little grated Parmesan cheese really helps because it just kind of gives you that overall uh, flavor the whole time. So that's cool. That's cool. Uh, but yeah. So I have a, we have a place here in town uh, bowling alley, and they have really good buffalo chicken wraps, right? And I love them, absolutely love them. Great price, I mean, five fifty for like it's cut in half and all that. It's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good. And I was like, ah oh, man, you know, being the foodie that I am, I'm like, I have to be able to create this, but I got to find a cheap way of doing it, otherwise it's, it's pointless, right? I know they can get stuff in bulk and get a lot better price for everything, and that's cool. Uh, but I needed to get something, so I did figure out a way. I did figure out kind of a cheap way. I took some like uh, ch breaded chicken patties, and I, like for a sandwich or like round. I mean, I know it's not all straight white meat, but I, I've got to go. I got to go. I got to do what I can, save money, and do all that. And it's really good. Like, I can make little mini ones out of them because I can make, like, two of them out of one big chicken patty and stuff and cut it into strips and pff, toss it in some quick buffalo sauce, you know, they make up uh, with butter and, and uh, just cayenne sauce, whatever. Uh, Frank's Red Hot, whatever. And it's really good, actually. I'm really quite impressed uh, how good they are. You know, I know they're a cheap counterpart, so if I have one from the bowling alley, I'm going to be like, yeah, this is still so awesome. So awesome. So the other thing, uh, there's another place in town that uh, they're like a little local pizza joint, uh, like family owned from the area. And they make, they have awesome pizzas, and they have like a $10 pizza deal, and it's so good, so good. Uh, and, but they have pizza subs, but I'm pretty darn sure they're frozen, and they just doctor them. I'm not positive, but enough things of my palate and what I have researched and everything and known what I've tasted from different places and such... You're not fooling me, guys. I'm pretty sure it's frozen. Get back to doing it fresh. So, my goal right now, and this is going to be my goal tonight, but I didn't have everything I needed. And by everything, I mean tomato paste to be able to make a quick pizza sauce to see if I can create a better pizza sub at home cheaper. It's a good idea, right? I mean, come on. We, I mean, I, I'd love to be able to make local pizzeria d dishes and make them amazing at home and cheaper. Yay. Good stuff, right? Got all the things out. Looked in the, pan looked in the pantry cupboard, whatever you want to call it. No tomato paste. Mm, stupid me. Stupid me. So, yeah, I didn't have any paint paste, so I have to get that some other time. That's why I end up having buffalo chicken wraps. Yay! It's good stuff. So good. So, tonight I kind of got home, kind of just caught up on my YouTube subscriptions, and I've been trying to discover some new vloggers out there, like uh, some other people who, like me, have like a few subscribers you guys, which are awesome. If you are subscribed, you are awesome. If you aren't subscribed, go click that button. Give me some thumbs up. It makes me happy. It just makes me happy. Please. Please. And I keep, I keep thinking that us lower end people, right? We're not going to get collabs, um, like big old collaboration projects or anything. We're not going to get a ton more subscribers. I think we don't stick together. I think us people who are all like maybe we call unpopular 
in the YouTube, if we think of it like high school, you know, we can make our own clique, right? We're unpopular, yeah, but we're, we're popular with each other, and that's what it is. And I think that's what we have to do. We have to create our own little group thing, either, uh, kind of like in StarCraft, we have, uh, we can make our own groups, and we're something Brock first, you know, and something whatever. I'm, I haven't really discovered a ton more vloggers out there. Uh, uh, Gay Sloth is another person you should go check out on YouTube. She is awesome. Uh, she She's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. And anyway, <laughs> plugging. <laughs> I plugged for her because she is awesome. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, we've got to stick together, you know, we've, we've got to either plug each other's uh, videos or whatever to get, we got to combine viewers, right? And combine our subscribers together and be internet friends, yeah. I'm all about that. But yeah, so I caught up on my YouTube subscriptions and then played Gran Turismo, ah, Gran Turismo. Oh, brain. Brain. What is this? This tea is not helping. All right, is it? Okay. Yeah, because even I can't even talk today. I'm just... Um, <laughs> yeah, I played uh, Grand, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City. I've been playing that, and it's been pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. Stressful. <laughs> At times, stressful. It's like, get out of there. Get out of there. Try not to die. And all the bad graphics. All the bad graphics. I got it cranked all the way up to 1080 and still terrible graphics. Whatever. Um, on Netflix, I've been watching House of Cards. I watched an episode of that. Uh, it's a pretty good show. It's pretty good. I, I haven't. I've only got two episodes in, so I really can't make a huge prediction because the pilot was good. Made me want to watch episode two. Let's see if episode 3 is any good. I think we'll go with that. But anyways, um, guys, let me know if there's any shows I should be checking out on Netflix. Uh, the Netflix Instant. Uh, I don't have DVD. I just got rid of um, I just got rid of my DVD subscription. Uh, didn't, I didn't really wasn't using it. And so let me know if there's any instant ones I should be getting at. And maybe I'll watch them and give you guys a little quick review. Yeah, that'd be good stuff. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go and watch some of MangaPod. And if you're interested in that, uh, obviously you're not going to see this as it's still playing live. But uh, twitch.tv slash happilyerin. Uh, she does a really good job leading that MangaPod uh, discussion. I was going to try to read it this time, read the, man the manga that they wanted. And life got in the way, work got in the way, oh well, gaming got in the way. Procrastination is a disease, it really is. <laughs> but this video is getting long enough and I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you guys next time.